rainbow therapy is illegal in America. I want to make sure black parents understand this. You cannot take your child to any therapist in this country and in other European cultures and think you're going to get them therapy to undo their new identity. I want to make sure we're clear. You cannot take your child to a therapist hoping to have their newfound identity reversed. It is illegal in America to try to help a child remember who God chose them to be. Let me say this one more time. I want you to understand me. It is illegal in the United States of America to take a child to a therapist and ask that therapist, can you reverse the confusion? Can you undo the brainwash? You cannot do that. In the United States, it is illegal to try to change a child back to what they were born. Absolutely illegal. If your son wants to be a girl, if your girl wants to be your son, you cannot take them to therapy to deal with their newly chosen gender identity. It is illegal in America. So for my parents who don't ascribe to sexual confusion, and I certainly do not, you have to be careful. You have to be very careful with how you engage your child. Because if your child goes to school, if your child goes to school and tell the principal, the teacher, the school counselor, the school social worker, the school psychologist, that my mother and father are angry at me for choosing to change my sexual identity, your children will be removed from your home. Your babies can be confiscated for you aggressively challenging your child's decision to live their life as the opposite gender. I need y'all to understand this. I need y'all to understand this. America is not a pro-black country, but it is a pro-rainbow country. America is not a pro-black country, but America is a pro-rainbow country. America is not a pro-black country, but America is definitely a pro-rainbow country. So number one, do not emotionally torment your child. We have to be strategic in 21st century America. Do not emotionally torment your child over their sexual confusion or you will lose your child. Make sure you're clear on that. Okay, that goes for Muslims, that goes for Christians. See, this is one of the reasons why we need our own schools. This is one of the reasons why we need our own schools. Public schools equal public rules. I'm going to say it again. Public schools equal public rules. I'm going to say it again. Send your child to public school and you must follow the public rules. So, if your child is expressing sexual confusion, there's a couple of things you need to check out for. One of the things you need to check for has your child been sexually abused? Has your child been sexually abused? Okay? Because many black children who choose to live their life as another gender are often the victims of sexual assault. Same gender sexual assault, opposite gender sexual assault. Make sure there's no molestation or pedophilia in your child's history. Because if it is, this sexual confusion can be explained through sexual trauma. Okay? Trauma. So if your child came to choose a new sexual identity as a result of molestation and pedophilia, then that is trauma. Okay? 
And if we know the cause of the sexual confusion, then maybe we can do some things to address the sexual confusion. Okay, so number one, make sure there's no history of sexual assault. Number two, has your child been exposed to members of the Rainbow Militia? If your child has been exposed to members of the Rainbow Militia, let's say they have a rainbow aunt or a rainbow uncle or a rainbow cousin or one of the parents is under the rainbow or a rainbow next door neighbor or a rainbow pastor. If your child is allowed to spend time with members of the rainbow who are older than them, Children are impressionable. Children are very impressionable. If you allow them to hang around members of the rainbow, then they too will end up becoming one day like they feel that they belong to the rainbow. Okay, that's number two. Number three, and this is a big one because black parents do not do this very well. Number three, when is the last time you invited your son or daughter's friends over to the house for a cup of tea in a chat. Most of you don't know your children's friends. You don't know who they hang around. You don't know who they are. You don't know where they live. You've never met their parents. How can a black parent in 21st century America have their child hanging with other children who you have never met? Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out. You must invite your children's friends over to the home once a season to do a checkup. I recommend once a month, at least once a season, four times a year. You're going to take them girls out with your daughter. You're going to take them boys out with your son. You can go to Pizza Hut. You could go to the African restaurant. You can go wherever you want. You could bring them to your house and, and have dinner. You can prepare dinner for the children, but a movie night. But you had better be sitting down with the children that your children are hanging with. You must do that. You must do that. You cannot let your children walk out the house and find friends in the neighborhood, not in these days and times. You cannot let your children walk out the house and find friends in the neighborhood on their own. Absolutely not. You need to meet these friends. You need to ask them for their parents' numbers. Call their parents and say, hey, I'm Umar's mother and your son is hanging with my son. And I just wanted to find out a little bit more about the children that my son is hanging around. Does he come from a two parent family, single parent family, or both parents in the home? Any parent been in prison? You know, what do you guys do for a living? Do you work? You know, what are you into? You know, there's a lot of different challenges out here for our children. I just want to know, you know, in fact, would you mind coming over for lunch? Invite the child and their parents over to the house for dinner. Your child got five close friends. Well, guess what? You're going to have five family dinners. You're going to have a dinner with uh, peer number one's parents. You're going to have dinner with peer number two's parents. You're going to have dinner with peer number three's parents. You're going to have dinner with peer number four's parents. You're going to have dinner with peer number five parents. You must meet the parents. You must meet the children. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to be honest, a lot of our children are being pressured into the rainbow militia by aunts and uncles who have already been drafted. A lot of our sons and daughters are being pressured into the rainbow militia by aunts and uncles who have already been drafted. A lot of our children are being pressured into joining the rainbow militia by aunts and uncles who have already been drafted. So some of you are going to have to make some decisions because if your brother and sister cannot respect your wishes to raise your child a certain way, then you may have to limit access. You may have to limit their access to your child. Okay. Now, here's another factor that a lot of you may have never thought about. Here's another factor that a lot of you may have never thought about. Okay. Abandonment. Has your child been abandoned by their mother or their father? Has your child been abandoned by their mother or father deliberately? Okay. Or unintentionally. What do I mean? Father got locked up. He been to jail. 
Okay, father's in jail, father's deceased, father moved away to live with his snow bunny. The son feels abandoned. He feels abandoned. And in his abandonment, he may come to believe that black men ain't shit. And if your son comes to believe that black men ain't shit as a result of the abandonment or absence of his father, okay, he may then begin to crave masculine energy, the masculine energy that he wanted from his father and he's not getting because every son needs that masculine love from his father. Just like every daughter needs that feminine love from her mother. If you get that masculine love from your dad, you're going to be a healthy young man. But if you don't get that masculine love from your dad, another man can come along. Another man can come along. Another man can come along and manipulate your son's thirst for masculine energy into a sexual relationship. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. So when children are missing a parent, it could go either way. Your son could be missing his mother. He could be missing his mother. And he might feel that his mother not being there means that he's not good enough to be loved. He may feel that his mother not being there means that he's not good enough to be loved by a woman. So he may reject girls altogether because his mother abandoned him. He may reject girls altogether because his mother abandoned him, he may reject girls altogether and simply try to build relationships with men. Same thing happens with your daughter. Father abandoned the little girl. She don't think she's attractive enough to be loved by a man because her father never loved her the way she needed. So she rejects men altogether and she only builds romantic relationships with girls. So you have to look at the abandonment issue. Children who are abandoned by one of their parents are at risk for being recruited into the rainbow militia. Please understand this. Okay.